Hello, happy friends! Are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah, and today we're going to play a QA game about reptiles. Do you know what the word reptile means? Let's take a look at the three options. That they move with their tummy very close to the ground. That their skin is covered in scales. Or that they have a very long tongue. Exactly! The word reptile means that they walk with their stomach really close to the ground. Easy peasy! Reptiles always crawl when they're moving. That means their tummy is touching or very close to the ground. Like this snake. Or this lizard. Or this crocodile. They also have their bodies covered in strong and resistant scales to protect themselves. And they also have cold blood. Well, now we know what the word reptile means. But do you know how they reproduce? They are oviparous. That means that they are born from the eggs laid by the mother. Or viviparous. That means that they are born directly from the womb. Exactly! They are oviparous! All reptiles are born from the eggs that their mothers have laid. When they develop and come out, they look exactly the same as their parents, but tiny. Here you can see miniature crocodiles. Most of them are carnivores. And some of them have venom in their teeth, like this snake. The truth is, when reptiles are small, they can be so cute. But when they grow older, they can be a little scary, don't you think? Let's go for the last question. Which one of these animals is a reptile? A tortoise or a frog? I knew it! The tortoise! Tortoises are reptiles, although lots of people confuse them with amphibians. As you can see in the images, Tortoises have their body full of scales. They reproduce through eggs. And although lots of them live in water, they breathe through lungs. So is it clear that tortoises are reptiles? Crystal clear? Well, I hope you've answered all of your questions correctly, but if you haven't, don't worry, the most important thing is learning. Goodbye happy friends, see you next time and I hope you're always ready to learn. Goodbye!